Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the most consistently inconsistent entertainment commentary podcast. I am your host, Just Jay Sum. I'm here with producer Plank today. Uh, yes, we got a full intro today. Um, let me make sure. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, that should be fine. Feels good to be back, man. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to also make sure. Hold on. Let me change an audio source real quick because I can hear you in my mic and I can hear you in the background. There Hello. we go. All right. I fixed it. I fixed it. Um, nice. Anyway, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. It's been a while since we've done uh, one of these like mainline episodes, I guess. Yeah. Believe it, it or not. Yeah. It's been a... It's been a hot minute, man. It's honestly uh, the worst part about all of it is none of it was within our control to, you know, like, hey, let's get this done. You know what I mean? Like it was always some natural cause or some act of God that was like, nah, y'all not getting this done today. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So that's been really, really frustrating. Um, for anybody who didn't know, um, I have been absent for a few weeks uh, because I recently had surgery. Um, so that was great. I had that. To have some, yeah, that. And you're uh, you're forgetting one more thing. You didn't also didn't have power. As oh well. yeah, 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 yeah. I did not have electricity in my home, so that was <laughs> great. Listen, man, when you when you live in a building that was born in that was born, yes, a building that was born bred and born in 1922. Okay, all right, in the middle of the city of Los Angeles. Okay, uh, sometimes um, stuff just gets old, man, and you know. Even though the size of my apartment is literally 10 feet by 10 feet, you know, uh, sometimes you, you tend to overdo it. But oh, because yeah. of the summer heat, I guess, you know, they were like doing blackouts or something like that. And, you know, this building just doesn't have like any like it's just a piece of shit building. Like I, I'm just going to be real with you. So I'm looking to move pretty soon. Um, I just don't have the funds to do so. So, you know, so uh, and you're currently injured, so it's not like uh you can True. right now. Yeah, I can't even I can't even go out and like find additional work because, you know, I also have physical therapy I have to start going to. Uh, I'm, I ha still have to go to take, you know, a bunch of doctor's visits. Um, there are days when like just yesterday, actually, I was doing uh, my own physical therapy and just trying to lift my arm and I got so nauseous. I threw up like I, I literally dropped to my knees and like everything was spinning and I threw up all on my floor so yeah uh yeah it's not great um it also doesn't help you know that there are are roaches in this area so you know like as soon as they sensed like hey that might be something you know that was that was it man i i was nervous i had to clean that shit up quick um but yeah if you're ever interested in moving to la or or visiting la stay out of k-town uh, that's all I got to say to you, uh, because you will come here thinking this is the dirtiest city on the planet, and then you will go to downtown, and it will be verified for you that this is the dirtiest city on the planet. So, you know, uh, don't come here. Um, <laughs> True. So that happened, um, and, uh, you know, I've had some issues with my job. Now, there has been some good stuff. Obviously, you know, like the personal stuff that we've been talking about on the Patreon, which, by the way, if you guys are not sub to the Patreon, make sure to go to patreon.com slash canon culture. You can find a link for that in the description below um, you, where we tell all of the, you know, the hidden secrets basically behind the show stuff. Uh, so you guys get to see that name dropping drama, all that other stuff. I mean, we don't really get into too much drama. I mean. If anybody more than the seven people that listen to this podcast listen to that, like the Patreon stuff, they'd kind of be like, yo, what the fuck? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. Once again, patreon.com slash canon culture. But w. Um, yeah, W. Uh, aside w from that, man, uh, physical pain, emotional pain, uh, watching other people succeed. That's psychological pain. That, that's about it. That's that's how we that's catch up with me. Pain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, watching uh, just to like jump into it, watching Kai succeed the way that he is, just being a straight up nigga, is really uh, disheartening. <laughs> what do you it's, mean by that? It's inspirational and it's disheartening at the same time, just because uh, as a content creator, right, you have to choose between. Uh, let's say there's three different, a couple of different categories, but I'm gonna list off three as an example. When you're black. Uh, you can either choose to be hyper entertaining 
and just like be yourself over the top all the time, which Kai falls in that department. Or if you're a little bit more insecure about the way that people see you and how brands see you and stuff like that, you end up like me where you're like wild sometimes, but like, you know, you kind of keep it contained. You know what I mean? You're like, I have to be presentable at all times. Like we can have these funny moments, but I ultimately am an educator on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Right. And then you have the other end of the spectrum where it's just like people who are only informative, not making entertaining content. Like they only make like news update content, uh, uh, in the video game space, patch updates, uh, in the anime space, uh, uh, sometimes they'll do, I guess, reactions or manga reactions or anything like that. Like there's different creators who fall in that space. And of course it's not just black creators either. Um, that's just, you know, how I identify. Um, so Kai just being him, his full fledged self is kind of just like, damn, that's dope to see. But also at the same time, fuck, man, like why couldn't it be somebody like that actually looks like me? Like, it's one of these like you know typical looking dudes you know so what do you mean by that um so Explain. when you go on instagram and you type in pranks uh or when you go on instagram and uh you know like couples channels where they do like the big emojis and the thumbnails and it's super bright and it looks like a Fortnite thumbnail and shit like that and they're doing these oh, yeah. overly obnoxious actions and shit or public interviews where they just purposely try to make people mad uh stuff like that like kai falls into that into that yeah. group um that's what i, I agree mean. yeah yeah yeah. so you're not gonna hit me with it listen i'm too educated you're not gonna hit me with the target like what do you mean by that like it's not it's i don't know that. like i i was genuinely curious i didn't know what you meant like you said doesn't look like me i don't yeah yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. He, he looks like me but he doesn't fully. look like me you know what i mean so uh he's not yeah, a, he's not a curious. nerdy nigga that's what i'm saying he's not a nerdy nigga is that what you want to hear okay he don't have, doesn't have the glasses on yeah, you know what i mean yeah yeah he doesn't yeah, fall yeah. in the in the analytical i make logical non-entertaining content you, which actually is interesting because when we were having a conversation with dj earlier yes i was high as a kite but i was still like very tapped into the conversation um which by the way guys uh uh dj i'm sure longtime listeners of the show will find this very interesting dj considered going back to youtube today um so that was wow. that was a very interesting conversation um it was a very interesting conversation it was it was you know shout out to him I, I i hope he you know achieves his dreams and everything like that but bro you should already be started like if you were thinking about it you should already you know you should yeah already be just for it. anyone who for just to be vague about it yeah yeah so just pursue whatever you're doing please don't uh, yeah, please djs i mean don't. obviously his situation comes with nuance so but it's just you know if anybody else is thinking about man i should start a youtube channel like stop thinking about it just do it just just go ahead and please it, just hit the start recording button yeah. on your obs and there you go yeah and go from there yeah, yeah. that's uh, that advice of the day youtube creator advice of the day <laughs> hit start recording if you want to be successful on youtube <laughs> claps all around yeah. thank you so much i'm here all week thank you for coming to i'm here all week yeah. i'm here all week lovely lovely um but yeah man like when we were when we were having that conversation i was fully tapped in i was thinking like damn like you know a, a new youtube channel would kind of go crazy right now and all i would have to do is just be myself but just less analytical and less like oh here are the statistics of this thing and like whenever i'm doing gaming reactions and stuff like that like just make sure to take those clips put it on youtube shorts make sure to take those clips put them on uh tiktok put them on instagram reels even though i hear instagram reels is not doing so well um as far as like generating new audiences and stuff like that but i mean Oh, fuck it. I'm willing to try. And we mm. also had the component of our conversation of, you know, the algorithm favors new channels. So I'm thinking I might I might do something like that. I was thinking about doing it for my live streaming uh, and just taking the VOD and like uploading it directly to that channel. But I don't know. I'm, I gave DJ that idea earlier of just like streaming the stuff that you want on your channel and then making it available for people to watch and then taking clips and making videos of that. I'm thinking about doing that, actually. Yeah. Hey, that might be that might be the way to go. So, you know. But uh I'm, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know, it was it was it was just, you know, lightning quick idea. You know, I didn't think about it too much. I mean, it wouldn't take much to implement it either. So, you know, I've already I've already got like, oh, this is how the videos are supposed to look. This is how everything's supposed to work. This is my metadata, my thumbnails, my tags, my titles, all that, you know, good YouTube stuff. So, why not hmm. man yeah I give it a shot just do it yeah fuck it just do it for it i'll probably do it right after this podcast to be honest um 
because earlier, like Look right after we had that conversation, um, I uploaded that YouTube short and it's already at like, I think it's at like 600 views now. So nice. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's the Assassin's Creed one. Um, yeah, man, I'm very, very, very excited about that. So, um, of course people were coming to my channel for Assassin's Creed content, but my channel is like 11 years old now. So it, I think it might be time for, for a re-up. It might be time for a refresh. Yeah, man. All new, all different. Just Jay Sama. You know, uh, just Jay Sama Rebirth, yeah, if you will. Yeah. So Lee Boy told, gave me the idea to call it Just Jay Sensei. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's not that bad. So, uh, yeah, I mean, everyone and their mother uses sense. <laughs> yeah, honestly. So fuck it. Why not? Yeah. And just do a whole rebrand, change my Twitter handle, change my change my Instagram handle and just be like, I'm a whole different person now. I'm not even the same. I'm not even the same guy. Fuck it. Yeah. It might actually I mean, help my mental health. <laughs> maybe if that that way you can stop fucking being like, oh, I need to get this. I need to do that. Yeah. Because you be doing that a lot. I just be complaining about the same. This video, thing. this video has got to get X amount of views. Bro, or I mean, it's a flop. yeah, when you, when you get to a certain point, you just expect a threshold. You know what I mean? Like, so. Yeah. I mean, but at the same time, man, like you're killing yourself for it. Just, uh. Just get in there. Yeah, I think the... Just get in the nitty-gritty. I think the worst part is it, I have overthinker syndrome. So even when I'm, like, making the video, I'm like, damn, like, what is this clip going to look like? I mean, most... 99% of the time when I'm thinking that way and then I perform a certain way in the video, it does pretty well. Like, uh, or that portion of the video looks really good or, or uh, you know, it's a good part of the video, basically. Um, I yeah. never regret it. I mean, it's extremely fatiguing and like tedious and makes me feel annoyed. And honestly, it makes me feel embarrassed for myself, which is why I don't make like YouTube videos on my live stream anymore. Uh, just because I feel super embarrassed. Like, I don't know why. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's a real self-conscious thing I have. Like if I'm going to live, if I'm going to react to something that I'm not like over the moon excited, like let's take the Deadpool 3 trailer, for example. Like if I was live streaming right now, and I was like, okay, guys, we're going to watch the, the Deadpool trailer or whatever. Um, and it was something I was genuinely excited for. That I would react to on stream, make it a video, and just be perfectly happy and be fine with it. But if something like um, a new Overwatch trailer, new Genshin trailer, or literally any other piece of content, like I'm doing a tier list or I'm doing, well, maybe not a tier list because that's kind of interactive. Or any other type of video where I could just not be on stream and make it, I can. I still have the ability to like fuck up and then go, ah, oh, damn, like, I, cause I talk to myself. So if I fuck up in a video, like while I'm recording it, I'll just be like, ah, oh, fuck, like, all right, let me try that again. And there's a like, blah, 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 you know what I mean? Like, I have multiple yeah. tries. Whereas on stream, it's just like, it doesn't feel comfortable being watched and, and, and fucking up that way, speaking to myself the way that I do, and then trying to do something over again. When I say it out loud like this, it's not a big deal, but in the moment, yeah. like when it's happening, you're like, fuck, like, I can't believe I, and then, so I was going to say, I just, oh my I just God. roll with it. No, you're good. That was pretty much I was, the, the funny thing is about that, right? Like you're, you're trying to get into the nitty gritty. Meanwhile, like any of these Twitch streamers who would be doing the same exact thing, right? They'll just sit there and react with like <laughs> very little commentary or like a little bit of commentary, right? But I not nothing like super transformative mm -hmm. as what I would call it. They just sit there and they do that for hours. You get me instead of doing like a, a full fleshed out video on it. Right. You see it a lot, to be honest. And like, then they get they get, they just like blow up off of it. I well, it's, it's not that it's so usually confusing. the biggest streamers doing it, so it's just like oh, look at this, like, and they usually outperform the original video, right. which is crazy, and all they're doing is sitting there watching the original video, yeah, which... Yeah, that's, that's insane. Do you even, do you watch content like that? Um, I, do I, I, I think I have seen it, like, I have seen a bunch of that content, and I have watched it, yeah, but I usually end up coming to the conclusion, like, oh, I was here for the original video. And I just got recommended this guy's reaction to it. Mm, okay. Are you somebody that you watches reaction videos or? Um, you don't strike me as a guy it that does. Depends. 
It depends on the situation. I guess technically I in the last like week alone I've watched a lot of reactions to the the current drama with like Mizkiff and stuff. Mm. But that's just to like see very obvious takes and it's less reacting to to like clips per se. Oh, more and more based. like yeah, and more you know, like now uh analyzing the the information that's currently available about that. Ah, okay. okay. Which there is a lot. Hmm. But there, uh, even the guy, the main guy who was uh, watching the the call, there was a leaked call during this uh, Destiny. He didn't have, I mean, he was doing a, a decent amount of uh, analysis, but then you see everybody and their mother, like, analyzing that, too, or watching the, the his reaction to it. Mm. That's, that's crazy. Especially because um, for somebody like Destiny, I mean, he's not like a... He seems like a pretty cool dude, but he's not like a prolific, like, oh, I have to watch this person's reaction um, because, you know, you want their opinions on it. Like you, you care about like what they have to say about this specific issue. But I mean, if he did like a live reaction to like a TV show or something like that or a movie trailer, I wouldn't, I wouldn't watch it. You know, like he doesn't seem like an entertaining figure to me. He seems like a very, uh, like a talkative figure. And obviously, you know, different content creators have, you know, different ways of doing things. Like if we watch like somebody like Afro sends you, you know, he's about like entertaining while he's reacting to something. Whereas, uh, you know, I guess that that's just the division between like, uh, the different camps of reaction content is like one is for mm. opinion based. Like, Oh, let me give my opinion, which I, I really wanted to do for my movie channel. I really wanted to do that type of content specifically for like when the black Adam trailer drops or when Deadpool, uh, drops or something like that. And it's providing, um additional commentary and like not just entertainment uh kind of like how straw hat goofy is that what his name yeah straw hat goofy the the black guy on tiktok who does like a I lot of movie know. content i'm sure the audience will know who he is um okay yeah yeah he does a lot of uh, uh a lot of uh commentary and stuff like that and he overanalyzes mcu stuff he's he's a dope content creator um so shout out to him but he does a lot of like analytical like, oh, guys, the, the new trailer just dropped. So we're going to go ahead and watch that. If we can see this clip here, blah, 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 blah. Here's a reference to this. And he kind of like breaks it down like that. Uh, so, you know, there's that camp where they're trying to be informative. Then the camp of like a trailer drops. Oh, let's be entertaining about it. Let's watch it together and stuff like that. Not really doing much, as you say, a uh, transformative commentary <laughs> for it. Yeah. So and then you'll have... Uh, I guess you would say for like the drama stuff, it's more like reaction and opinion, right? Yeah, a hundred percent. Okay, okay. It's there's a lot of things coming out, and there's a lot of a lot of moving parts here. Right. To right. be honest. So what's happening this week? Who's in trouble? Uh well, it's been going on for a while now. Like a month. I think. All, <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of fucking <laughs> shit on Twitch that has been going down. Yeah. Uh, I think it started with gambling, and now it's reached to the point. Well, it started with some other things, but. I think the main, uh, the main suspect was the gambling drama, and then people like Slicker, this this guy, uh, he scammed a bunch of his fans out of three about three hundred something thousand plus mm. dollars. He scammed some people, and so then that started like a Twitch stop gambling hashtag, which Ms. Kiff was a part of, and then, <laughs> and then out of nowhere, uh someone drops a bomb that like he was covering up for a sexual assault Whoa. Uh, that someone else did. Whoa. That his, uh, his friend who lives in his house did slick, crazy slick that. Okay. And Man. then it goes even deeper and there's a lot of, a lot of interesting, <laughs> a lot of interesting things. Cause there's a lot of testimony going around that. Yeah. He kind of did like, Force a cut, not force a cover up, but he. I'm trying to keep, you know, I'm trying to pick my words very carefully here. But like he was, you know, he he says he was trying to clarify what was going on, mm -hmm. but there was kind of like a talk between him and some other people. Like it was like, oh, maybe I don't know if we should put like a pedal on it or or something like that. Mm -hmm. it, it felt like uh, the testimonies are a little strange they're a little inconsistent in my opinion but i mean uh the, the only thing i really know is that 
the guy who did the the assault is definitely he's he's packed the fuck up. Okay. All right. Cool. The Miskiff the Miskiff career cover up uh Miskiff career is fine. Uh what I don't think I could say he there's not enough information mm-hmm. to say he covered it up, but like in the leaked call that I was describing earlier, it was a little he he wasn't very concerned with the victim oh he said i i think i remember that clip and there was some girl in his room and he was like yeah i think or uh somebody he was on a call with some girl and he was like yeah people seem to not really give a shit about that or something like that to quote yeah 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 he said uh i don't think i know anybody who doesn't hang out with slick after the after the event Mm, okay gotcha wow is kind of what he said in that call but there's another call where he's like at he's like pleading with this dude who exposed uh or exposed him train wrecks another streamer mm-hmm. uh who he's like pleading with him like oh yeah can you delete the tweet yeah he, he says that a bunch of times and he was like his his like main testimony was or his main like uh his main uh stance was like oh he was my best friend and i was just like that's what his takeaway was Ooh. like he was my best friend what do you think i'm gonna do and he's trying to he says he's he said he was willing to lose him uh if he did do it but what? then it, it it's it's a whole mess to be honest this sounds i don't think i can out. it is messy but okay. i don't know a, a lot of people are saying like he there there's a third party investigation going on with the, the organization he he works for or he owns mm-hmm. uh, into the situation. Wow! Didn't Miskin I, also say some some racist stuff not too long ago? I think I saw uh, I think I saw Afro tweet about it or something. Yeah, he he retweeted some stuff like, "Oh yeah, uh, these are like four year old messages, almost five. Oh, okay, 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 gotcha. Where he like he drops the hard R and. And shit like that, and he he hits all the minority groups in that one. Oh shit! Definitely, yeah, yeah. He wanted that. <laughs> you could tell he was going for the diversity hit. Right, right, for sure. I think every the, minority. The full context of of those messages too. He was just kind of like messing around with somebody in the DMs or something like that. Uh, uh yeah, he, he was like... talking to like his. I believe he's talking to like the guy he works for or works with. Excuse me. Yeah, he was like, "Yeah, don't be a don't be a sorry n word or something like that." I don't, I don't remember. No, he the full, said the full thing. He said it. there is a a hard R in this car. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Strangely man. enough, you know what? I I don't like it. I I think it's kind of fucked up. Uh, he definitely needs his ass beat for it. But I mean, other than that, I mean, he's just it's like okay, whatever. <laughs> That, yeah, that's it, not the really shocking part. Honestly, yeah. it, it, that shit has nothing to do with uh, any of the other stuff. <laughs> any of the other cover up stuff. It's kind of just like some like dogpiling shit yeah. that his like old partner used to. It just brought up. That's crazy, man. I mean, I mean, I can understand if it was him being racist, but you know, he was clearly like when you read the whole thing, and he was like clearly joking. Like it's just like, all right, it's a shitty joke, and it's like, bro, maybe don't yeah, like even in private. Like, I'm a little disappointed. Like. Like, if that was my friend and I saw some DMs like that, I'd be like, man, I'm like, we're still cool, but, like, all right, bro, I guess. Like, <laughs> I'd be yeah. disappointed. <laughs> so. It, it also depends, because the, the context of their relationship was, like, they, they worked pretty pretty close together, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say it's you He probably was saying a, some very similar words. Yeah, if somebody were to leak our DMs, oh, man. <laughs> Hold on, let me look at our DMs real quick. Yeah, we might, might we might want to go back in. Uh, I think I deleted that um that that uh lady boy stuff from last time. I, I definitely deleted Wait, it. PM reminded me that the other day, like when I sent him a DM uh of like my friend oh, code. Oh, that. And he was just like, "Jay, I can't look at our DMs." I was like, "Why?" He's like, "That was there was that time you put those uh those man ladies in the chat in the in the DMs." I was like, "Oh." That's right, I forgot about that. <laughs> so eh. I don't I have to anyway. I'm looking at our show right now. I'm trying to see if there's anything Now we just have here. a lot of illegal stuff like like media sharing and, and stuff like that. Oh, I don't yeah. think we have anything too controversial. 
Like yeah, yeah. Like yeah. here's here's Just a the, website the to watch movies stuff. or something like that. Allegedly. So, yeah, allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or some of the other stuff. You know how we how we run this show essentially. <laughs> Those people would be mad. <laughs> Those people oh, yeah. for sure would be mad if they saw. <laughs> They'd be DMs. pissed at us. Uh, I, I'm definitely gonna have to bleep. Allegedly, that out. yeah, yeah. I'm the, nah. I'm bleeping all of that, buddy. I don't. <laughs> I don't need nobody. I don't need them. You know what? Those. Those are the type of people that are able to like. I have to just completely delete this section of the podcast because those are the type of people that possess the technology to be like, hey, I think I heard what he said, and unbleep, <laughs> unbleep the censor. <laughs> Oh man! Could you imagine just like send up the lawsuit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anyway, all of that to say, yeah, man. If if I had a homie who who was DMing like anybody like and saying some stuff like that, like even jokey jokey he ha ha, like I couldn't get mad because it's like obviously like it's it's a joke. Like the full context is jokey jokey ha ha. But yeah, damn, that kind of sucks that you felt the need to tell a joke like that, and it wasn't even that funny, like. Like, I could understand if, like, if you told me a joke that had, like, you'd be like, Jay, this is a really funny joke, but it has a hard R in it. I'd be like, okay, so just tell me where I need to say the word, and then, you know, we're good. Otherwise, you know, just tell me the joke. <laughs> like, sub okay. me in. Tag me in. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, my thing is, is, like, yeah, they, like, the person who leaked that was obviously dogpiling. I was like, bro, this has nothing to do with the original, like, the big allegations some dude on the internet saying the hard R doesn't really surprise me. Yeah, no. Now, if he was talking about, like, busting down girls without consent or something like that, or, you know, trafficking or something, man, all right, that's that's pretty on point. That's relevant. Like, we need that information, like, put out there, because this guy might be a might be a demon in disguise, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. he's, really just, he's really just some dude on the internet being edgy. Like, that's it. Yeah, have, and that doesn't... It doesn't solve the problem of him, like, allegedly <laughs> covering up a sexual assault. Yeah, hey, you know, like, that's... Or why he felt the need to do that anyway. Although, I'm gonna play white devil's advocate here. If you did something like that... I mean, I don't think you would ever do anything like that. I'd hope not. Ooh, I'm not this, even, like... This kind of ties into that to drama that. from last year. Uh, if I had a homie who was accused of doing something like that, right? Where would I fall on the spectrum? And... That's tough because although if my homie says he didn't do it or Well, that's the thing. He the guy who did it did admit to doing it. Or he oh, like he admitted it to He admitted me? to doing it, but then like kind of backtracked and was like, Oh well Oh yeah, let's uh, put this in full context. Well, I, I was only checking her pulse like oh. type shit, but all the witnesses are saying You know that, what? If my homie told me that, I'm deleting the DMs immediately. I'd be like, you know what, dog? Nope, 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 nope. We not have it. I'm smarter than that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'd be like, yo hit me up next week, you know, or, or get off this. This is a recorded line type beat, you know, meet me, meet me at these coordinates. <laughs> yeah. Meet me at the latitude longitude, bro. Uh, I don't know, man. Like if one of my close homies did do something like that, I would, it, it's fucked up because I want to stay loyal to the homie and be like, damn, bro. Like you shouldn't have did that. Like, I don't know. I got to see some remorse. I got to make sure that the homie was like, Hey, I did this by accident. I didn't intend to like, you know, bust this girl down without her permission or she was drunk or, you know, she said we could and then she passed out or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, like paint me some type of story. Give me some type of excuse so that way I can believe you. Like, I want to believe you so bad. Like, I want to believe that you're a decent human being, but would I cover it up? I don't know. I would just have to separate from you. I'd just be like, hey, you know what, man? We didn't have this conversation. This never happened. You never talked to me. Like, you know, like we're cool, but I think because I know what you did, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and like separate from you, bro. Like you're one of my Mm. closest homies. You're one of my closest friends, but that's not, I can't have somebody around me that's capable of doing something like that. Like awesome, real shit. Like, because not only does that like me, not only do I get worried, like if I were to go somewhere with you, like we go to a con or we go to a party or something like that, and some girl hooks up with you and then I happen to be with you, it's just like, all right, bro, I don't even I don't even want that type of drama. You know what I mean? Now, if you tell me you didn't do it and you lie to me, I'm for, I'm, I'm going to go to war with you. I'm going to I'm just be like, he said he didn't do it, like all this other shit. But if you tell me, yeah, I did it, it was a mistake or this, that, and the other, I still got to be like, yo, I, 
I need some distance. Like, <laughs> I need some mm. distance. You know what I mean? So that that would suck. Like, I would hate for a homie to tell me he did that. And especially if he was proud of it. Like, that'd be... <laughs> proud of it is nuts. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'd, <think> those... <laughs> I'd have to eject from the situation immediately. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta get the the crazy thing is what he did is, like, he he blacklisted her from parties in like basically in that town or any party he was at he blacklisted the girl that he you know what i mean i would do that too assaulted i would do, Wait, well i would if that was the home it like i'm taking this like no no not, not Ms. Kiv. him oh, himself like oh, the, the guy who did oh, it yeah yeah yeah. of course Chris of course Slick. he would yeah he's trying to avoid trying to avoid that heat that face-to-face interaction yeah for sure uh, if, I, if i was Ms. Kiv, i probably would have did the same thing too I'd, I'd be telling security yeah don't let this girl in she drama even though my homeboy did it, I'd be like, you know what? I don't need this type of, just to protect, like, just to protect not only just my homie, but just the environment. You know what I mean? Because you may have, you know, bust this girl down without consent and and she's coming after you and stuff like that. I'll have to ban you. I'd have to hit you with the, hey, homie, you know what? I understand this is a party and, you know, it's a cool little get together or whatever, but I can't have you here, Brody. I can't, like. I don't feel comfortable with it, you know? Get out. Yeah. Deacon oh, Ooh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to censor that. Yeah, that's getting censored. Yeah, for Jeez. sure. All right. What do you think, Deacon? That's going it... to make it sound way worse <laughs> than what it was. Yeah, it was. What do you think, Deacon? If you, had a, if you had a best friend that you've known for years, right? And he came uh-huh. to you and he said, hey, man, you know, I got this girl drunk. I busted <laughs> her down without consent. And now she's cl- saying that, you know, I, I, I you know, I essayed her. You know, and he's he's telling well, you he did it. That's not the context. Oh yeah, yeah. The no, context that's... is she was drunk and sleeping on a, uh, she was sleeping on a bed like with around her friends, and then he came in, and he was like he was filling up on her, trying to say like, oh, I'm just trying to check her pulse. Oh, okay. From yeah. the inside. From the inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, that's, like on he was her, trying to check like, her chest. On her chest. Check her temperature. He's, ch- yeah, oh, chest. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. He was on the chest. Oh, so area. he was feeling up mm. on her while she was drunk. While she was asleep. While she, oh, while she was asleep. Drunk Ugh. and asleep. Drunk and asleep. Drunk and in asleep. In front of people. Passed out. In front of people. Oh, in front of people as well. In wild. front of her friends, yes. That oh, is wild. You know, this is a small chance for me to use the education that I'm getting in college. Okay, here we go. If she's if she's passed out in the state of California, that is a nonviolent crime now. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Deacon, everyone. <laughs> no, that's wild. <laughs> Because it shouldn't be. Also, I, I'm going to have to... I'll, I'll walk his ass up to the police station with her. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Now, you know, let's go back to my scenario. My scenario is a little okay. bit more entertaining. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know about entertaining, but... I don't think that word should be used to describe the situation. Yeah, you know what? Okay. You're right. You're so right. It's certainly more problematic. Certainly more gonna, problematic for sure. We don't have to censor that out. <laughs> uh, so, so check this out. You got a best friend, right? And... Uh-huh. Okay. We're, we're gonna break this down into two scenarios he's remorseful okay. and he's not remorseful he okay he busted his girl down without without consent she's claiming you know you graped me and all this other stuff right you sticking by your homie and he said you know what it was an accident or i didn't mean to or even i didn't do it um uh, okay well you gave me three different situations so my, bad, my, bad, my, <laughs> yeah. my bad my bad my bad each one applies to you know like okay. he said you know it was an accident he was remorseful about it or uh, he did it, and he was like, "Hey, man, you know, like it happened. It I'm is just, what it I, is. It is what it is. I did it." Like, all right. Well, situation one: if he's remorseful and feels sorry about it, um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. In any, honestly, in any of these situations, it's not up to me, bro. Like, <laughs> true, <laughs> true, true. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't get fruited. Certainly, he's not covering it up. Yeah, it's no. True, I'm not. True, I'm, true, not true, pull- true. I'm not pulling a miscuff. <laughs> true. That's for damn sure. Um, I don't think I could stand by him, honestly. Mm. If I'm being really real, but he's your best friend, bro. He's your my best, best friend. My best, my best friends don't unconsensually touch passed out people. True, true. They don't. Yeah, nah, no. Keep okay. people around. Jay, have you ever? You ever? Uh... Um. All right, let's keep it quiet. No, no, um, no, no. I can actually answer this one. I can actually answer this one. Uh, the one time I did do it. I was drunk. She was drunk. It was at a party that I was throwing. There was no other people around. I thought she was feeling me 
because, you know, she had her hands on me. So I just reciprocated the energy. And she was like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, oh shit. Like I misread that. That was the only, that has been the only time I have done that. And the only time that's, it's only repeated with significant others before to where like, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It, like where it was like a thing. significant other. Okay, we yeah. usually do stuff like that where we're like messing around and she's the like, same situation. I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, got yeah. you. So that's the only time I will admit that that's the only time. Hmm. So I'm not guilty of anything. You know, I apologized. You know, I was, I was 19. First of all, I was 19 throwing a party, uh, in, in a storefront that I had no business leasing out giving alcohol to minors so that that was that's probably the wildest part but i was a minor that's, so you know i mean it's like seven or eight steps wild. yeah 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 you know yeah, i mean the statute just... of limitations is over already so you can't get me for nothing none of that but you know well, i mean it was a high school yeah, party it was 40 years ago yeah it was 40 years ago it's a high school party you you do stupid stuff in high school at a high school party you know what i mean like it is what it is so unfortunately i do know what you mean yeah man come on now now, oh, okay. now, obviously, Deacon, you know, he says he didn't do it. If if your homeboy, say it's me, right? Some girl, okay. oh, God. you know, we're at a party. That's not helping the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it's me, man. Say it's me. And, okay. you know, we're at a party and some girl is getting loud and all this other stuff. He touched me. He did this, that. And I come to you and I'm like, Deacon, I didn't, I didn't do it, bro. I, I, I swear I didn't do it. You want the content answer or you want the real answer? Nah, get both. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? Content answer is uh server more drinks um yeah he wasn't kidding <laughs> he wasn't kidding about that content, content answer <laughs> this guy's great the real answer is it's a lot more complicated than that man I'm, I'm a i'm very much an advocate for not believe the victim but how do i say this without coming off listen as dumb. or like hear the victim or something like that just use reasonable like like what do you call that shit not critical thinking. Oh, okay. Critical like, thinking. okay. <laughs> like, um, it's hard asking somebody who's, you put your situation like, oh, your best friend. Obviously, there's some bias there right off the bat, you know? For sure. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want to shut this person down because if it is, you know, if so and so did happen, that takes a lot of guts and, and a lot of like, it, it's hard to, to advocate for yourself like that. Mm. Interesting. Mm. That's not the answer I was I, I, I'm going to tell you to both leave. How about that? You can figure this out in the parking lot. I like that oh, answer. Hands in the parking lot? <laughs> don't, don't hands with, throwing hands with a hussy in the parking lot. All right. For sure. I, I didn't say. I didn't call her uh, that. She's clearly a hussy. If she's accusing me of touching her, come on now. Come on now. I have depression. I'm not touching anything. I don't, yeah, even, I I don't even know why this, I'm here. In this hypothetical situation. <laughs> yeah, he's really you've... offended in this hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> in this hypothetical situation, you've not once denied it. No, nah, yeah. for sure. I, I definitely didn't do it. Nah, absolutely not. Of course I didn't. That's that's mm. absurd. Interesting. The only, the only woman I want is a woman that does not want me. <laughs> Come on now. Wait, no, wait. Hold on. That's Whoa. not what I meant. I'll be right that's back. I gotta take a while. That's not what I meant. I meant one specific woman does not want me. Like this this one in particular. Like I've picked this one, she refuses to pick me back. That's what I mean. Um it it still sounds bad. Matter of fact, never mind. Anyway. Yeah, this isn't this isn't sounding better. <laughs> yeah, it's really not. It's it's really not. Anyway, the point I'm trying to say is you know my character. You know I wouldn't like like, I would not be down to do that. Like, I wouldn't even tell you, like, hey, man, like, this happened. You know what I mean? I'd be like, yo, this this was a complete misunderstanding. Like, I had nothing to do with this. I don't even know this girl. I've never seen her before in my life. Like, first of all, my shoulder is broken. I can't touch anything. All right? So, I can't. No. <laughs> what? It wasn't me. It must have been somebody that looked like me. Must have been another one of these other niggas running around that look like they're good at Smash Bros. Could be me. Absolutely not. So True. hell no. Nah. But that's very interesting. Plank, what about that's you? It's a loaded question though. Yeah, it is it's a big question. What about you? Uh I mean if he didn't do it, right? Like that this is this is what uh what I would do. If you didn't do it, I'd probably be more uh All right, more I'm inclined back. to Jake take back your to side. Yet? Yes. A little okay. bit. I'd be more inclined to take your side, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you lie to me in any capacity about such uh, a serious accusation, I'd have no choice but to destroy your life. 
True. Ham. And leak every bad thing I've ever heard. Or oh, ever wait, uh, wait, 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 that really? didn't make it. Holy shit. <laughs> I, well, yeah, I'd have to destroy uh, something so serious like that. I'd ha I'd actually have to destroy your life, Why or not destroy your that? life, but I'd I'd have to like, like credibility. I'd have to make sure that you know that you should not lie about such things mm. because they are very serious. Okay, muy serioso. That's interesting. So, as the Mexican, yeah, side. I, I'm just I would not do either yeah. of these. <laughs> but you'd also have to take accountability, and you know, true, true, things true. like that. Now, obviously, you Wait. know. Hypothetically speaking. Okay. Okay. Uh, blank, uh, blank, get rid of the sense of this. Uh, what's the race of the accuser? White. Oh, well, that you adds know, to I the situation. <laughs> so you know, I didn't. <laughs> that that adds to the <laughs> if I know verifiably that my homie is not attracted to a certain race, <laughs> it's going to come. <laughs> see, see, he, this is him playing detective. <laughs> And this I like this about is going way too far about some shit that actually happened. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Who did what? No, no. Like this hypothetical is like was based upon something that really did happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But dude is lying about it though. That's the only. That's the only thing, dude. I mean, he admitted to Mizkip that he did it though, or like kind of implied it really so it's really like a well soft... he did say, like in the leak Yo. call his testimony is like oh yeah he did uh he said yeah i fucked up i fucked up bad like yada yada that's what he Bro, was told is what Mischief he sent out the goons yeah he really did hmm. would you would you consider him uh, like if dude had said that would you consider that a sign of remorse um what like that him he saying, did yeah, it he fucked up bad like yeah i did it but i fucked up like i didn't mean to or anything like that uh, well, um, he did in the beginning, and then after that, like, after this got re-exposed, mm -hmm. he went on, like, oh, don't, like, learn from the Johnny Depp case. This is what he Whoa. tweeted, on, by the way, while these accusations were, like, ongoing. He was like, oh, yeah, uh, learn from the Johnny Depp situation and, and things like that. That's what he said when he got re-exposed. So uh... I, uh, I don't think he's very remorseful. First of all, if you're capable, I'm, this may be a hot take. <laughs> If you're capable of, if you're around me and you're one of my friends and you're in a position where somebody accuses you of sexual assault of any kind, uh, right lightly. Yeah. Cause it, it's funny. Cause it's happened. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you, if you come to me, if you come to me for help. I'm gonna call you stupid because you put yourself in that fucking situation. I I am going to crack so many fucking jokes on you. Um, I think if if you did it and you're apologetic about it, it stays between you and me. Yeah, it's yeah, and, I'm, and I'm, the person. Yeah, and the person because I'm gonna treat you like the church. I'm gonna be like, you know what, man? Let's just. I think you need to reach out to her privately, apologize. Do you know if she says, hey, give me ten grand or or a hundred thousand dollars or whatever, bro? You need to do whatever you need to do. This stays between you and me. Will I, I look at you the blackmail. same ever again? Probably not. Uh, yeah, blackmail is nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blackmail is crazy. Maybe you have a counter case. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about that, buddy. Deacon, no, you yeah, you're not. I know you're in school, Deacon, but you're not in school for law, bro. This is not. <laughs> Street justice. So, I yeah, I don't know, man. I, I would want to. Naturally, I would want to stick by my homie. I, I definitely would. Naturally. But. Don't you go putting me in this situation ever again, bro. I, I think Gangsta Alicia said it best. What did he say? Homies over hoes. Homies over hoes. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Homies over hoes. Do the homie. Do the homie. Do the homie. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, man. I I don't see that happening anytime soon. I, oh, I fixed it. Awesome. Maybe one day, but hopefully not anytime soon. So. I, I can promise you I'll never put you in that situation. Thank God, Deacon. I, you know what? I, I believe if it was you, you, Baldo, Plank, shit. I mean, yeah, that would be... I would have to... I would immediately point at that woman and be like, she needs to be drug tested. <laughs> I need <laughs> video gra I need videographic I need, evidence. Yeah, I, need, he did it. I need evidence in 4K because A, 
ain't no fucking way. Like I said, Boondocks kid. I need I need his face in the video, his social security number. I need his grandma there to verify that's him. Yeah, Bro. I can't. There's no way. I I know my homie's character. I I would not. I'm not believing this woman. I hear what she's saying, and yeah, it could have happened in her fantasy imagination or whatever. But I don't believe my homie did it. Absolutely not. Yeah. Jay would go. And by the way, this is the hypothetical people, and not the yeah. This is a situation where every a lot of things are confirmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it, if it, even if it was confirmed, and you t- you told me straight up, like I did not do it. <laughs> I swear, I did not. I I I did not hit her. I did not. I'd be like, now nah, I need you to, to look me in my eyes and carefully because I'm still willing to help. Are you lying? Go, That's not the name of his girlfriend. He wouldn't touch anybody else. Yeah, I, exactly. I'm because I know your character, Deegan. I'm still going yeah. to believe you. But it's well, you don't look at me a little yeah, different. I'm gonna look at you way different. Actually, I'd be like, does he have it in him? I didn't think he had it in him. Yeah, I'm gonna defend him this time, but next time I'll know for sure. <laughs> 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 Just to confirm, let me. I might. I might even set you up. <laughs> Second time. I'm still not sure. Three straight. Yeah, I probably, I probably look at it with one eye open. I'd be like, uh, I don't know what race is she again. <laughs> <laughs> I have a ton of questions. I'd have to play detective before I pick a side. So hmm. you know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. So, um, but last thing I want to talk about today, man. Um, Twitch space, obviously, in in terrible, terrible Boo. disarray. Yeah, but uh, we can congratulate Kai. Kai Sinat for 90,000 subs on Twitch. So Oh yeah. Yeah, that is monumentous, man. That that's amazing. Oh yeah. That's so, hella, hella great. Yeah, especially considering, you know, the core component of what Twitch kind of was for a time being. Where it's just, you know, very uh non POC, we could say. Can we say that? Mm-hmm. We could say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, no niggas. Colors. We'll say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No niggas. Uh Twitch always just seemed like a, a white boy's frat house. You know what I mean? Like, to me, yeah. in general. Like, I've never... I don't even like going on Twitch. Like, I, I don't even watch streamers like that. The few streamers I do watch are... On women YouTube. Of, yeah, women of color who play Apex really well. That's it. That's my whole demographic. Like, it's the only thing I watch on Twitch. So, I wish they'd do some fucking hot tubs. God damn. Anyway, uh, so Deacon, what do you think of that, man? 90,000 subs from a black man on Twitch. You ever thought you'd see the day? Yeah, eventually. Really? Came a lot sooner than I thought, though. Hmm. I think Martin Luther King is probably saying the same thing right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to think of it like minorities make up the majority of America, so it's only a matter of time until one mm. of them popped off on there. True. Yeah, true, true. Um, and then just hand in hand, like. 1.1% of streamers make 99% of all of Twitch's income. So you realize you're on the top 1% of streaming if you have 53 concurrent viewers. So that just, is true. Just to see, like, it's it's not like a technicality. He's in the 1%. No, he he worked and he grinded. Bro, when his mom called on stream, I started crying. Really? What Wait, what happened? You haven't seen the clip? Nah. You gotta show me this um, clip. Put it, put it I, in I'm, the chat. I'm getting I, it. I need it for yeah, right. I've seen the clip. I gotta see this. His mom was congratulating him on uh, being the number one streamer. Wow, a black man—that's crazy. Yeah. Now, does this uh, inspire you at all, Deacon? No, I'm not coming out of retirement. Oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> He's sitting there like, oh no. <clears throat> Only when uh, Yakuza Eight comes out. I, dead serious? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no. Thanks, Plank. Thanks for promoting that. Uh, here you go, Jay. Uh, yeah, I started crying when I started listening to this phone call, bro. So wholesome. Didn't he hit ninety k subs? He did ninety k. Yeah. Yeah. He probably gonna be at a hundred thousand by the end of the week. Mhm. If he hits a hundred thousand, that's like nuts. Yeah, that's actually. I don't know. He <laughs> hasn't done anything like crazy events or anything on yeah. his stream. Well, it's crazy to pull back from what Ludwig said when he switched. Twitch isn't gonna reach out to him and congratulate him or anything. True. Well, they did congratulate him uh, about earlier. Oh yeah, shit. they like mm. posted a clip of him dancing. Big whoop! I guarantee you, there's no personalized email in his inbox waiting for him. Oh, 100 percent, no, like yeah, definitely not. Nah, he would publicize that for sure. Mm-hmm. Gideon is kicking and screaming right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, cap! All the way to the bank. Congratulations, Gideon! 
Congratulations, son. Thank you. You're number one. You're number one. Of, I was sleeping. I kept hearing my notifications. And when I looked, you was like 79. And, and it comes in. I'm like, I'm so happy for you, baby. You worked so hard. And you deserve yes, sir. that so much. And, and we, we watch it. And we're so proud of you, everybody. Babe, I love you so much. Babe, I'm so proud of you. You're number one. This is beautiful, man. Right? This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I wish my mom would talk to me like this. <laughs> I wish my mom I wish my mom would say she's proud of something I've done. Oh my god. Maybe when you become the number uh two, two. streamer. How about <laughs> um anyway. <laughs> anyway, I know some stuff that's not in my lifetime and that's being the number two streamer on, on Twitch in general or number two of anything is probably it's not likely i don't work tell, hard you, enough. tell you what jay what for my project this week i have to make a website i'll make a live streaming website you can be number two on there oh uh, you know what i'll be you number two wait hold on. <laughs> brand new website i can't even be number one plank will be number one. Oh, all right for sure <laughs> at least i know there's a pecking order and i'm aware of it. yeah right. i'm cool with that that's fine that's fine but if you forget to unmute his mic again he's number two oh okay Ooh. all right well Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. So, um, hey man, you know here. this this fills me with a lot of a lot of inspiration, man. I I think it's dope. Uh, I also, on the other hand, have a different feeling about this, and this will this will might come to a shock. So, boys, strap in. Strap on. Uh, it better be shocking. Twitch is racist. <laughs> what? Um, no, 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 no. But for real, I. I'm actually seriously considering after all of the events that have gone on with Twitch just in these last like couple of months um, and seeing how lucrative YouTube streaming was for me, even though it was like essentially destroying my channel, I'm still more inclined to be a YouTube streamer than a Twitch streamer. I, I don't know what it is about Twitch, but I just don't. I just don't like it, bro. I just don't. I, I don't enjoy it. I do the, enjoy the community building aspect of it. I do enjoy like the UI because it's it's looks nice. It's great. <laughs> I just don't think I don't think Twitch is going to last that long, even with situations like this where they, they had now have, you know, a, a new number one streamer on the platform like, you know, and he's you know a black man. like that should be inspirational to me. But I just don't I just don't fuck with Twitch, bro. The funny thing is, is um, they they also have like cut people's like pe big streamers revenue. It isn't that convenient. Uh -huh. That is so convenient. The timing of that. A black man gets to the number one spot on Twitch and they're like, hey, we've been thinking about cutting revenues for a while now. Well, let's just go ahead. A, and... It's a little more deeper than that. Yeah, it is. How so? So. So only specific streamers have the 70-30 split. They had to negotiate for that for their partnership. Um, they're not going to be giving that out anymore. You can't negotiate for that. And for the streamers that do have it, uh, it you get the 70-30 split for the first 100 grand you make. Then it goes 50-50. What yeah, the? Basically, it's, it's still bad. Yeah. So after you make 70 grand off of the Twitch, then it's 50-50. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, like, people who are mad about it, like, you were never going to get that split to begin with. True, true, true. true. But you already had to even have an it. option, like... And the people that do have it, it's like, you're... You're not hurt by it. After the first hundred grand, like, how much... Like, I'm not saying you don't need more money, but, like, bro, look at the position you're in. Hmm. But that's already for people who have it, so, like, they're, yeah. they're getting a pretty decent revenue cut for the people who have it already right hmm. that's that's what people are complaining about and then people um saw that youtube has a base 70 30 split mm -hmm. on such things so they were like oh well youtube might be the the way and so a lot of people are considering moving to youtube for that reason but hey if you can get a Just facebook for that contract money. deal ooh, you mm. easy sailing you think so oh yeah facebook pays more for their contracts than uh youtube does for Twitch. oh i bet I'm just saying, do you like? Mm? Is it more lucrative to get a a Facebook deal than it would be a YouTube deal right now? In monetarily, in the short run, yes. But then, how many of your fans are going to migrate to Facebook? So, like short term, yes. Long term, you'll probably break even. Mm. 
I don't know. I I don't think I could ever take a Facebook deal. Because I've seen a lot of people from Facebook deals come back and, and then not be as big. Like, like uh, No, uh, Toast is still really big. Yeah. But when he came back, his his big stream was amazing. I'm talking about specifically, there was a, there was a Destiny streamer who went to Facebook for a while and then came back and, you know, he tried some other shit and then he came back to Destiny and he's, his views really haven't I don't know if they stabilized, but they were like, oh, they were looking a little rough when I looked at them. Mm. But, and he took a Facebook deal. I mean, it might have been financially good for him, but when he moved back to, to Twitch, it you, didn't uh, seem like the best. I gotcha. I don't know. I guess it depends on how dedicated your audience is. Cause like, that is also true. He in didn't my head. post on YouTube either, so. Oh, okay. So yeah, he was Twitch only. Ain't nobody following his ass. Well, he was a. Uh, I guess Facebook only for a time, and then he didn't do anything on his main YouTube channel. Nice. So that might have, that probably played into it. Jay, how much would Facebook need to sign you for exclusivity? Um, more than I get paid on my YouTube channel yearly. So, a couple thousand. I bucks. mean, oh, oh, so you just like, yeah, I, I, sandwich. I don't, yeah, basically. Um, I don't know. I don't make that much money. I mean, on average, I probably make. For my YouTube channel, I maybe make a thousand dollars a year, um, but that's uh, that was what two years ago. Yeah, mm. uh, the height I've made on my YouTube channel was twenty eighteen, and I think I cleared five grand that year. Um, but that was a good total year. or uh, total, yeah, through the whole year. Um, I actually mm. had to pay taxes on that. That's how I know. <laughs> it is. So. Uh, yeah, that was a good year for me because that was Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, um, Etika drama, um, heavily controller okay. drama. Like, <laughs> Etika Lawless. Yeah, I think I think I got majority of the views on my channel from that year. Um, so that was that was just a good year for me. Um, cleared five k. Okay. Uh, I think the exact amount was fifty two hundred seventy five dollars or something like that. So, mm. um, mm. but of course now I'm, I'm lucky to make, I'm lucky to make a grand a year. Um, so, which hopefully will change soon. Cause, uh, I'm going to continuously work on that, but I mean, Facebook, I have to give me a similar deal to YouTube because I'm not in a position to quote unquote, sign a deal with anybody offering me a deal at all with any amount of guaranteed money is better than what I have for YouTube. So, um, mm, although is true. the last couple of months of being super consistent on Twitch and streaming for six days a week, um, my audience was definitely growing and having sub challenges and stuff like that really didn't, didn't help much. It was just like people wanted to sub because they wanted to sub. Uh, I've made more money this year on Twitch than I have since 2018 on YouTube. So Roughly, they'd have to give me a couple thousand bucks. It's not that much. So yeah, you're a pretty cheap whore. Yeah, I'm a pretty cheap whore. Now, if I was somebody of 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 notable status, that's uh, what I was getting at. Yeah, in the yeah, yeah. So let's take yeah, yeah. That. That's that's kind of yeah. what I was referring let's to. Let's take this another <laughs> fantasy scenario that may or may not ever happen. Um, she said yes. Um, anyway, okay. uh, I don't I don't know, man. Facebook could probably have to offer a pretty fat check, but also I'm a competent content creator to where i would not put all my eggs in the facebook basket like i obviously would be making youtube content i actually think depending on what the requirements are for that facebook contract i would try to fulfill that i mean does facebook have an exclusivity clause uh i don't think well they do. only exclusivity in the terms of like the deals i'm talking about are streamer deals like when yeah. you're you have to stream usually in those deals you have to stream an x amount of hours a month and you have to only be able you only stream uh on on Facebook. Well, if that's the case, then I would try to find a way to finesse it to to be able to stream on Twitch and on Facebook. Um maybe yeah. I'd I'd assign I don't think they do that. I'd assign Monday, Wednesday, Friday as like, oh, okay, these are the Facebook days and then Tuesday, Thursday as Twitch days. But there's no way I would Yeah, they wouldn't let you do that. Yeah, no, there's no the way I would, I would one hundred percent like like if they told me, Hey, we're we're willing to like let you stream two hours a month 
but you just cannot touch twitch.tv.com and that's where I was previously. I don't I don't know. That would be that would be a tough decision to make. Uh, you'd have to offer well, me three to five times the amount of money I could make on Twitch for me to switch. Uh, usually that's what it is, though. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, uh, okay, if I'm being optimistic in this in this fake-ass funny scenario, uh, seven times the amount. Seven times the amount I've ever made on Twitch. So say, let's say I, I made $100,000 in a year on Twitch, you'd have to pay me seven times that. I'm sorry, what did I just read? I don't know. I was I was looking up like a, a monetary breakdown for Facebook streamers. Apparently, uh through Facebook, uh Facebook gaming streamers get to keep 100% of their supporter revenue. Okay. Okay. So, but yeah. it's only for desktop viewers, but if you get like a, a sub on Facebook, you keep all of that. Oh, so you keep 100%. Facebook is sub. pretty rich. Mm, yeah. Nice. And they'll probably use you as advertisement if you're popular yeah. enough. And then for mobile viewers, market. you still get that 70-30 split. That's not bad. Jeez. Yeah. If I felt it like I could solid. Yeah, if I could felt like I could convert a first of all, Facebook is such a weird platform to operate. Like I tried to make a, a page a couple months ago so I could stream on Facebook. Bro, their settings and the, the like the user versus a page versus it's a, so a weird. fan page. Yeah, they don't have a very good tutorial like nobody has a good tutorial first of all on not even facebook to, yeah not even facebook on how to set that up properly to create a creator page which by the way a creator page is different than a fan page i mm -hmm. huh like i went through this one time that shit is so crazy like if if there was like a streamlined way of like this is how you set up a, a facebook stream and then this is how monetization works this is how all of this works if there was a better way to communicate all of that then for sure I, I would switch to Facebook right now, like hundred percent. I could probably build a, a very very good audience on Facebook just from the bullshit content I make now. So, I mean, YouTube needs YouTube needs to fix their chat. Yeah, Facebook needs a crash course on how to do everything, and Twitch needs to stop being racist. <laughs> Which one of these is gonna get fixed first? <laughs> None of those sound like an option. <laughs> <laughs> I just need uh, YouTube to... I think YouTube was better when they had the gaming section. Like, it was its own site. Like, I did like that. Yeah, like, it had its own UI, like, gaming.com, gaming.youtube.com, like... And they were just, probably worried it was going to alienate traffic away from their main site. I mean, it should be connected to the same site. Like, you should be able to watch the same piece of content on both versions, if you just type in the word gaming before the the YouTube URL. Yeah, you would think that. And th that's the way it was working for a while. I liked it. I thought it was dope. I, I did too. Yeah. Having a, a consolidated place to go look at just live streams was helpful. Yeah, it was. So now it's it's extremely difficult. And I don't know. You, YouTube needs to work on that. If they could just figure that part out. and st If they could steal the front-facing UI or, like, the very, very basic UI features of, of Twitch, they won. They're done. Mm-hmm. I feel that. Echo. Stop. Shut the fuck up. going off, so... But, wow. yeah, man, if they if they get that fixed, then I, I'd be I'd be down, so... Yeah. Mm. yeah. Plank, any, uh, any idea which, which you would have for Facebook gaming? YouTube gaming? <laughs> I, I don't think I could do anything with Facebook or YouTube. I'm not really a content creator. You love Twitch? Hey, content creator. You got something bacon over there? Hmm. Uh, No, not necessarily. I don't think so. Mm. So if you had to get Unless YouTube, you've got something to, for me to do. If you had YouTube... Oh. Uh, you had Susan on the phone, right? And she said, okay. Plank, I need, I need your assistance right now. Okay. Help me out. What do we okay. what do we do to change YouTube Live? Ooh, I mean, I'd start with I mean, a lot of the the problems are being addressed with like the co creators they're adding. Like Ludwig is adding his own he has his own extension that works pretty well in terms of like moderating and uh, changing the way uh, the site works. So, uh, I I don't have any I'd suggestions right now. Uh, I'd probably make it easier to find streams. Mm -hmm. 
uh, if that's what you want to do because they're spending millions of dollars on streamers, I'd probably make it easier to find streams. Like streaming should be a section on the the left side, like when you open the tab menu. Mm -hmm. Streams should be there, or like streams, streamers you follow, or whatever. It should be like a separate tab, hmm. or something. It's pretty just weird. like embedded into the into the regular YouTube because they've already done that, right? They have already tried that. Yeah, yeah, they did. Uh, instead of getting a notification, or maybe you get a notification and like your your UI is streamers you follow, and it's kind of like Twitch, you know, a Twitch's like page, mm -hmm. main page when you uh, when you click the following button. Essentially. Ah, gotcha. That works. I like that I'll idea. I'll say it. They should add a hate raid section. True. Right. Anyway, um, guys, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. We really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you're watching the video version of this, make sure, to run up, <laughs> make sure to run up those likes and also leave us a bunch of comments. We need uh, that algorithm push so that way we can get more uh, people listening to the podcast. If you guys are listening to the audio version, make sure to rate us five stars. Um, also, subscribe. So that would be greatly greatly appreciated we want to thank uh professor deacon for popping in thank you so much mm -hmm. yeah it was lovely having you i always enjoy having your your insight on the podcast uh thank you producer plank for editing today's episode um oh fuck i'm kidding i'm kidding i'll, I'll edit this one <laughs> you edit the patreon <laughs> stuff that's our deal um yeah, yeah, yeah but if you guys want to speaking of the patreon if you guys want more content make sure to head over to patreon.com slash canon culture that's c-a-n-o-n -N, uh no space c-u-l-t-u-r-e wow i let's go akila the b my boy um <laughs> And leave us a bunch of comments there if you guys want to contribute and, and help out the podcast so that way we can put out more efficient and uh, more episodes per week. So with that being said, we want to thank you guys for listening. We'll see you guys next week. Make sure to keep it canon.